Hi, welcome to a short Knowledge Share video on the FreeSky X20 Ethos. Today's video I'd like to run through updating the firmware. Now with the connection to your PC you can make three types. The first is power off and just use a USB connector and that plugs into the back. So just to check, just to confirm that's power off and that goes into the USB-C. And that is used for updating the bootloader only. The second method is with the select button, enter button pressed and the power on and that takes you into the bootloader menu. And that's used for updating the file system, the SD card on the radio and doing the firmware upgrade. And the third method is to use the radio as um, a, a joystick. So in today's video I'm going to run through using the bootloader and updating the firmware. So to do the update, now we've connected the radio in bootloader mode, you'll see two drives appear. You've got, in this case, drive F, which is the USB drive on the radio, and that contains bitmap files that are used for dis screen displays, icons, that sort of thing. So that's always kept on the radio. And then the second drive, in this case G, that's the SD card. So in this case, we've got audio files, and that's a mixture of um, the, the languages that you've chosen and your, your own personal files. So in my case, I've got um, English, and then in the, this folder here, I've got all of my personal um, sounds, and the system sounds are in there. Then we have bitmaps. And bitmaps are for models, and in here we have some examples that have been included with ESOFs, but you can include your own model images in this folder. Then we've got the firmware folder, and that's used for storing all of the firmwares for the TD ISRM, the receivers and other um, items that you might want to flash um, over the air, or via the cable at the back of the radio. So you can see I've got a mixture of um, Archer and Access um, firmware is already on here that I've been using and you've also got the TD ISRM firmware for the internal module on the radio. And then we've got logs which is used for storing logs if you have that enabled. And then we have the model files. So these are all of the individual model files that you've got created for each of your models whether it's a plane or a helicopter or a quadcopter. Then we've got um, the radio bin file, which is um, used for storing all of the system settings. And then in the root of the, this area, if you ever wanted to update the firmware, which we'll show you shortly, you include the firmware in the root of the SD card. Right, so we'll go ahead and first of all, we'll update the radio first, then we'll do the SD card second. Okay, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is take the the firmware bin file. This is for the the radio, and I'll put that in the root of the SD card. And now I'm going to update the radio with the bitmap files. So I'm going to copy the bitmap files which I've downloaded you need to do a paste and replace. So I'm going to copy and replace all of those. few minutes. Then I'm going to copy the SD contents onto the card that I've downloaded. So copy those two folders and then do a copy and replace again.
Okay, the last file we're going to copy across is the TD ISRM update. And we're going to put that again into the SD card, but this time it goes into the firmware. And I've got a copy there already. So now we've got the SD card updated, we've got the radio running the latest bitmap files. To, up, to actually finalise the update, what you need to do is disconnect the USBs via the PC, then the cable, and then you'll see that the radio automatically applies the firmware upgrade. So what we'll do first of all is we'll just disconnect the USBs, eject those, one, two, and then we'll go back to the radio. Disconnect the USB from the PC, and you can see it writing the firmware. Once that's complete, you'll take it back to the bootloader mode. And then you simply turn off the radio and turn it back on, and the new firmware will be booted. There we go, back to the bootloader, so turn it off, and we turn it back on. Welcome to Ethos. Switch warning. Failsafe not set. To the radio. If you want to confirm the versions, you go to the info screen and you can see the, the versions that you've got installed. Now, what I'd like to do is then apply the TD ISRM update. So, if we go to File Manager, go to Firmware, scroll down and find the TD ISRM update. So, in this case, 2.1.7. Click on that and then choose Flash Internal Module. Very quick to flash, tells you when it's complete. Success and click close. And we can just turn off the radio, turn it back on. Welcome to Ethos. Switch warning. Fail safe, not set. And the new version's applied. Thank you for watching.